this is the third master care foundation scholarship i'll be talking about i've talked about the first one which is at the university of cambridge in the uk the second one was at mcgill university in canada and this is the third one at the university of edinburgh in scotland the uk they are fully funded scholarship and they cover specific area of programs and in most cases they cover climate change programs for example this scholar at this university we participate in climate leadership program and these are the eligible programs for the scholarship if you're applying for african and international development food security sustainable energy these are the programs that are eligible for the scholarship you can always form your topic in this contest if you did a bachelor's that at least have something to do with any of this topic the scholarship opens yesterday october 1st and then it's going to close the deadline is november 8th it is mainly for a master's degree to submit your application for the scholarship you need to meet up with all these basic requirements you need to have a second class upper and above you need to have faced a significant barrier all these requirements you have to meet up with it and the age requirements you have to be under 35 35 and under and the scholarship value covers your tuition fee accommodation travel stipend and study materials as well then to submit your application it is the same as the one that i explained with the mcgill university in canada you have to submit your application first to the scholarship then later on after your application has been accepted then you can submit your application to the university you must qualify academically for admission at the university of edinburgh we require that applicants apply for this scholarship before applying to the university then these are the timeline that are basically going to follow for the application once you meet up with the eligibility requirements you can click on apply now to submit your application and to, to know more about each program you can always click on them here to know more about them and then if you want to submit your application you click on this apply for an on-campus postgraduate application then you apply and to apply they always have essays and i try to give you details on how to submit the essay how to write the essay at least the best way that you can use to craft your own essay and the first part of the application is just they want to know if you meet up with the scholarship requirements and after that after you've confirmed that the second stage is the eligibility requirement they want to know your nationality the countries that you reside your university that you graduated from and then your gpa your grade point average and after that then you start the application fully you fill in the application here they said that you should not use ai too we have seen an increase in the use of ai application so it is just recommended not to use AI. you can always use AI to at least structure to think of how you want to write it and all that but when you are typing it when you are writing everything don't use AI at all last year we rejected many of such applications just application based on right. AI they have, then here you fill in your basic application details your referee and then you answer these questions so there are four questions that you need to answer and the word limit should be between 100 and 400 words and i have examples that you can use to structure your own as well an example of how you can write your own essay how you can answer each question being asked is this i use food security program as an example and this is the essay that i wrote just a background about you where you're from and basically the details of the questions that is being asked for the first question this is how i structure it this is the essay and then this is the pattern that i follow introduction and then you provide a contest you focus on your own barrier that you want to talk about the question is asking if you identify as a woman if you identify as someone that is being displaced as refugee or disability yeah i choose a barrier as financial barrier like a financial barrier so you focus on how you how that is limiting your ability to go for further education and then your contribution to the community and your future aspiration that's the number one question then the, the second question is asking you your own future goals and study what's your interest in further academic study and also you talk about your passion and you choose your passion and then you're going to relate it to 
the program of choice here yeah, i relate the passion with the program which is chosen as food security then you explain why you are interested in that particular program your long-term goals and then your practical learning opportunities and at the same time you summarize everything that you've written just to reaffirm it then the third question is to reflect on your service to the community and then you can bring up a project that you've done in the past you give details about the project and how the projects the key aspect of the project and also you can write on leadership lessons that you learn from the project and lastly climate leadership they, they are trying to focus on climate change as well so when you're writing you can use this pattern as well you introduce the specific ways that you want to contribute to climate change then you focus on how climate change is impacting your own feed here yeah, choose aquaculture and then your contributions the ways that you that you're thinking of contributing and then lastly advocacy on your future group so basically you can use this essay to structure your own you can use that but the way i format each paragraph and then introduces the statements in each paragraph you can also use it in writing your own essay essays as well and once you're done with your essay once you're done with your essay you can go forward and submit your your, your declaration then you upload supporting documents you fill in the equal opportunities form and then you are done you submit your application you wait to hear back from the scholarship that is all about your scholarship and make sure you submit your application before the deadline and i wish you all the best in your application